the geezer's fuming. He's jumped up, smashed the cup off the table. Not gonna lie, probably would have done the same thing. But mate, you're gonna have to take it on the chin. The old woman's found something better. So when George first arrived to the beach and the tablet terror went off, he had to choose between me or Rianne to take on a date. Welcome to the beach, George. As the ex, you have the extra power to choose. You can either take Rianne or Bailey on a date. Should we go and have a chat or not? Should we have a date? I feel so bad for going on this date with George because I know Bobby's back at the villa, worried sick, and I just don't want to mug him off at the end of the day. What's the matter? Why are you nervous? I'm just nervous because obviously I know Bobby's sitting there at home like completely worried about this and I just don't really want to fuck him over. Like, he is worried. Like, so it's, it's written all over his face. His face. Yeah. Exactly. Like, but like, where are you at with it? Do you want to give it a go with him? Is this what you actually want to do? So I'm in the villa with Bobby. The whole time when we was trying to make a go of things in the villa, I felt like he had a barrier up. It was very miserable, very toxic. Didn't really even make a conversation, wasn't laughing. Why is it stressing you out? What's stressing you out? So you, the thing is with you, mate, you don't talk. Too you don't, mate. You listen, that is it. I don't get no answers. George coming into the villa was a massive surprise. I never expected it in a million years, but I'm glad that he did because it made me realise of the reasons why I left Bobby, because we didn't have that connection, any sort of laughter together. It was literally like we was brother or sister or like a married couple. How did your date go? Yeah, yeah it was all right. Did you kiss? No. no. So I've walked in, everyone's sitting down around the table. I'm not going to lie, my arse I was flapping a little bit, but Whose would it be? Met everyone, everyone come across as very nice. I can see Bobby giving me the evils. I think he knew something was up. I had to sit there. I told Bailey, look, you've got to tell him that we've had a kiss on the first date. So there was no flirting? No. No. Are you touching my leg for? <laughs> so. Bailey, mate, you're the shittiest liar. Obviously, I kissed Bailey. She was saying, please don't say nothing, please don't say nothing. And she didn't want to mug him off, which is understandable, but I'm a straightforward geezer and I'll say it how it is. And if anything ever does go on, I'm the sort of boy that will tell the geezer what has happened. So basically, I'll just lay it out there, shall we? Whatever. So if with you, we had a kiss. No, I'm sorry, oh I can't be we have been standing here and standing back to you all the fucking way. Hey, we made a fucking choices, mate. No, we made I'm a sorry, fucking choices, you fucking slave. Bobby exploded, he pushed a drink off the table, kicked a chair. The geezer's fuming. He's jumped up, smashed the cup off the table. Not gonna lie, probably would have done the same thing. But mate, you're gonna have to take it on the chin. The old woman's found something better. Bailey sat down and, and explained that she's kissed the guy. You know, especially after what, we, what she said to me that she wants to test the water. See, this is a, a good test for us to potentially move on and, and crack on with each other. I was on the same page, um, and then she goes and does that. So I lost my call cool and I lost my temper, and obviously she hit the fan. He's got no loyalties to anyone, but you should have had loyalties. No, no, no. Listen, I'm calm, mate. I'm calm. Everyone had something to say to Bailey. Everyone was a bit shocked by the situation. But look, she can't look the way she feels. It is what it is. It's not their relationship. It was Bobby's and Bailey, so whatever they've got to say doesn't bother us. Calm down a bit. I promise you, you'll slice! It is what it is. I didn't expect anything from the guy. Um, you know, he's in here to do his own thing. I'd have done exactly the same. But uh, in terms of Bailey, the reason why I was so fucking annoyed with her is because of the disrespect she showed me. I realise that I like George and we're going to try and give it a go, but you can never be sure in the villa what's going to happen next.